Hello friends, how are we doing today? Today's tarot and oracle reading is all about a full moon release. So the full moon symbolizes the completion of a cycle. And after the full moon, we then get into the release phase. The moon is getting smaller and we can let go of what is no longer serving us, what is no longer benefiting us. We can use the power of the full moon to let that go. So this is uh, for the April 2020 full moon, which is happening on April 7th, but this is a timeless reading. So if you are coming upon this video at a later date, it's perfectly fine. The information is timeless. This particular reading is for Leo, for Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know what those different aspects of your natal chart are, please let me know down in the comments and I can help you find that information. Okay, so today we have a spread laid out. This first pile, this is the illumination phase. This is using the animal totem tarot. The second pile, this is for the release phase, and this is using the steampunk tarot. This third pile is for the transformation phase, and this is using a combination of different oracle decks. We have the Enchanted Map Oracle, Magical Herb Oracle, Numerology Guidance Deck, as well as the Making Magic cards. Okay, so Leo, let's get into this. So we're going to start with the illumination section, and this is about what can no longer be hidden. So we're starting with the Nine of Wands, the Judgment card, and the Three of Pentacles. So with this Judgment card right in the middle here, this is about your idea, your perception of yourself. We have, you know, we have the image here of um, Santa's reindeer and a sleigh full of presents. And it's kind of like whether you believe or don't believe, the answer is correct, right? Children who believe in the magic of Santa truly believe in the magic even if people tell them that Santa is not real. But if you've always doubted it, then even just the magic of the story doesn't exist. So even if there isn't a physical representation of Santa anymore, does the magic of the story exist to you? And that's kind of like what's going on here. Like you've set your mind to something that this isn't true, or it could even be that something is true, but it's a judgment that you've made and you are so set in this judgment that no one can tell you one way or the other. And I feel like this might be blocking you from seeing something else. Um, we've got the nine of wands here with this big horn sheep up on top of the mountain celebrating. Um, it's about victory being on top of your game. And then we have the Three of Pentacles, and this is about reaching for your dreams. But with the Judgment card in the middle, it's almost like there's something that's blocking you from this positive energy on either side. Um, it's like, I, I, don't, I don't want to negate your beliefs in any way, but I do feel like it is somehow related to a misconception. Um, and a misconception about your value you know, it's like, oh, well, I've always been this way, so I could never reach for this dream. But I feel like with this release, it is about focusing on that misconception, on that judgment that you've put upon yourself to be able to see that you are more than what this judgment has imposed upon you. Okay? So let's go on to the release phase, and this is what you can let go of. So we have the Four of Leviathans, 
the Two of Submersibles, the Eight of Submersibles, and the Explorers. Okay, so this is, um, this is you waiting for something better, and, you know, it's like the grass is always greener on the other side. You know that expression, right? This is you saying, well, you know, my job could be better. My relationship could be better. Um, if I had this, things would be better. If I had that, then I would be happy. You know, it's like there's always something that you don't have that you're wanting. And maybe that's also where this judgment is coming in. It's you not even allowing these better things to come in because you're feeling like you're not worthy of what is better. So we have the Explorers card and the Two of Submersible cards, and these are very po uh, very powerful, positive um, relationship cards, both for romantic relationships and for friendships as well, also for like career relationships. Um, but I feel like it's this energy of I'm not good enough for this, or if I was with this person, things would be better. Or if I just had the opportunity to, you know, it's, it's excuses. That's exactly what this is. This is you making excuses um, as to why you can't do things. And I almost feel like this is going to be kind of um, a harsh message for you, Leo, because it is something that you have convinced yourself of so wholeheartedly that... Um, it's going to take a lot of shadow work to be able to release this. Um, I'm also sensing that this is going to be a very emotional release for you. Um, not necessarily like a negative emotions, but like I, I'm sensing like a lot of happy tears when you can finally let this go like um, a burden a weight has being lifted off your shoulder when you can finally let go of this judgment this four of leviathans here we've got these people on the shore and they're just they are longing to get out to this boat but they can't get it they're sending out smoke signals but they can't get there um, and i feel like you are feeling like you're trapped on this island on, with this energy and you just, you can see something better on the other side, you just can't get there. Um, and I'm almost sensing that it's not even about getting there, it is about being comfortable in where you are. You almost need to let go of the expectation of this something being better, this, you know, these pentacles being out of reach and realizing that I mean, for this giraffe, these pentacles really have no value. The value is in the tree leaves that he can reach. You need to stand up on top of your own mountain here, just like this bighorn sheep, and see the value of where you are. And then we have the card of Unexpected Visitors. I feel like that could really tie in with these explorers and the two of submersibles when you can accept that you will not be happy with, I shouldn't say accept, when you can become comfortable with the idea that you are okay with yourself and that you are, you know, um, in control of your destiny by yourself and that you don't feel the need to always say have a partner, um, be reliant upon someone else. When you don't feel the need to have someone else in your life, then that is when you will truly open yourself up to others coming in, especially if we're talking about a romantic relationship with these two cards. Um, you know, if you need to have someone love you for you to love yourself, then you're really blocking your manifestation because you are existing in this place of lack. 
but when you can love yourself um, even without a partner, that is when the universe will really quickly bring you the person of your dreams, this unexpected visitor, because you are existing in the vibration of love just by being yourself. And then we have the card of detox. Yeah, like I was saying, like this could be a very emotionally um, uh, I'm going to say stimulating, a very emotionally stimulating kind of release. Like it's going to bring about a lot of big emotions for you and it's it's going to be detoxing in a way, um, releasing fears, releasing pent-up energy potentially through tears um, and also just, you know, detoxing your body, your physical body, as well as your mind and your spiritual energy as well. You guys got two numerology cards. So we have the card of creativity and the card of new beginnings. Yeah. So this change, it may take some creativity on your part. Um, creativity in terms of maybe affirmations. Um, you know the phrase, fake it till you make it. It's, it's kind of like, you know, you got to keep repeating things to yourself. You know, the law of repetition. Um, you know, it's reprogramming your subconscious mind. Hypnotizing yourself in a way to the new beliefs that you want. The new beliefs that are going to overpower this judgment. Um, but it, it may take some creativity to be able to work this into your life to be able to really expose yourself to the repetition on a level that is going to overpower the judgment. Okay. And then we have abracadabra with wings, fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. And the dragonfly, you bring light to this world. That's, that's interesting energy because we have a lot of water energy here um, and then we've got a lot of air energy in these cards. So it's it's progressing, it's moving forward, moving to new energy. Um, even, you know, moving up into this Nine of Wands energy, moving up into the mountains, your, your higher elevation, you're raising your vibration up. Um, you know, so it's, it is... It is releasing what, when you find yourself talking negatively about yourself, be it um, your capabilities or your physical body or um, giving in to um, a lot of, say, fear or anger, it's catching yourself in that moment, not getting upset with yourself for those thoughts, but just observing them and then thinking, Okay, how can I change this thought to be one that I am more in alignment with? So if you're feeling scared about something, focus on saying, I am safe. I am healthy. I am um, in a safe environment. I am, I don't know, whatever, <laughs> whatever kind of is comforting to you when you're feeling these negative judgments. Um, if you're feeling like you're not worthy of love, then when you're saying like negative things to yourself, like, um, I'll never meet someone or I'm not destined to have a good relationship or something like that. If you find yourself in those kind of, uh, negative states, then reframe it and transform, put on these wings and transform into something different. So, you know, switching it to, I am worthy of love. I am capable of love. I am a loving individual. I am a loving human being. Um, and really just, you know, repeat these things to yourself over and over again until you believe them. It's, uh, I mean, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's not the easiest thing to do. But it is about catching yourself in those moments of negativity and just 
and not being mad at yourself for having those moments because we all do have them. Even the most spiritually enlightened people will occasionally succumb to dark thoughts, but it's how do they respond to those thoughts. When we react to those thoughts, then we are putting that vibration, that energy into motion. When we can respond to those thoughts, that energy is a lot slower, and typically we can control that release of energy a lot better when we are not being so reactive. Okay, Leo, so that is my reading for you. I hope you enjoyed this tarot and oracle reading about the full moon release. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.